Welcome to another session of Statistics and Probability. This is your teacher, John Glenn Esalmario. Today, we will be discussing confidence intervals for the population when the standard deviation is unknown. For the lesson objectives, after going through this lesson, you are expected to identify the appropriate distribution when the population standard deviation is unknown, understand the t-distribution, state the difference between a z-distribution and t-distribution, and identify the confidence coefficients for computing t from the t-table. Now, let us recall the previous lesson. Confidence interval, also called the interval estimate, is a range of values that is used to estimate a parameter. The estimate may or may not contain the true parameter value. Confidence level. The probability that the interval estimate contains the parameter. It describes what percentage of intervals from many different samples contain the unknown population parameter. The general formula on obtaining confidence interval with 95% confidence, this is for the upper and lower limit, is x bar or the sample mean plus minus 1.96 which is, which is our confidence coefficient multiplied by the ratio of the standard, devi standard deviation and the square root of the total number of samples. Now, here's the general formula for obtaining confidence interval. This is for upper and lower limit. As you can see, these are our confidence coefficient. These are used when the standard deviation or the population standard deviation in particular is known. Also, when our total population is less than or equal 30. Also, this is used when our total number of samples are greater than 30. But comes, take note, this is used when n is greater than 30. But from a population that is approximately normally distributed. Kapag hindi po siya approximately distribu uh, normal distribution, hindi po natin pwedeng gamitin yung formula na to. However, what if the population standard deviation is unknown? Anong gagawin natin? Makokompute pa ba natin yun? Makokompute pa natin sa pamamagitan ng formula na to. We need to estimate the sample standard deviation, the general expression for the confidence interval when the standard deviation is unknown is x bar plus or mi plus and minus t multiplied by the ratio of the sample standard deviation over the square root of n or the sample. This is called for t this is our t value that we will get from the t distribution. Now, the formula for computing the confidence interval estimate using the t distribution is this one. x bar minus t multiplied by the ratio of s over square root of n less than the mean or the population mean less than x bar or the sample mean plus t our uh, the t value multiplied by the ratio of the sample standard deviation and the square root of n take note again the margin of error can be computed using the formula e is equals to t mul multiplied by the sample standard deviation divided by the uh, square root of the number of samples kung mapapansin nyo itong part na to at itong part na to ay eto rin yun. Okay? Ngayon, paano natin kukunin yung t? Saan ba manggagaling yung t na yan? Ang alam lang natin ay meron tayong z-table. Pero, meron din tayong t-table. Ngayon, paano ba ang paggamit ng t-table? Ano ba ang itsura niyan? Ayan ang itsura niyan. As you can see, uh, this is uh, the normal t-table. So, dito, meron tayong limang columns. Namely, the n, the first column, which is for the Number of samples, the degrees of freedom in second column. Then, for the third, fourth, and fifth column, we have the confidence coefficient, 
this is the amount of A in two tails. Take note, meron tayong, uh, in the next discussions, i-discuss natin yung two tails and one tail. But for now, ito yung two tails, ito yung dalawang dulo ng ating normal curve. So we have, for uh, for the confidence uh, level, 90%, 95, and 99. So paano ba natin ginagamit yung t-table? So here, the t-table uh, or the t-values are based on degrees of freedom and not on the sample size n. Let us recall, for n is equal to 20 and the confidence interval is 95%, when the standard deviation is known, what is the confidence coefficient? So, anong ginagamit natin confidence coefficient kapag 95%? Very good. Ang ginagamit natin ay 1.96. Therefore, para makompute natin yung margin of error, ang gagamitin natin ay ito. The sample mean plus or minus... 1.96 multiplied by the population standard deviation and the or and divided by the square root of the samples. Ngayon, paano kung hindi natin alam itong population standard deviation? Take note, magkaiba ang value ng population standard de, population standard deviation at ng sample standard deviation. So paano natin siya kukumpitin? kailangan mag tayo sa t-table. So, paano natin gagamitin yun? For the same values, if the sample standard deviation is unknown and S is available, the confidence coefficient is, paano natin gag uh, gagamitin to? mag -e tayo dun sa given. Ano ba yung mga given natin? Ang N natin ay 20. Ayan. So, hanapin natin yung 20 dito. Ayun. Next, ano yung confidence interval? 95%. So, mula dito sa tatlong to, asa ng 95? Ayun, eto. So, tingnan ko yun sa taas. Then, kung saan ang intersection niya, yung value, kung saan, uh, yung value, kung saan uh, may inter nagkaroon ng intersection yung ating uh, N at confidence interval, yun yung gagamitin nating t-value. Therefore, 2.093 yung gagamitin natin. At para makompute natin yung confidence interval nito, eto na yung gagamitin nating formula. X bar plus or minus 2.093 multiplied by the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of samples. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, practice natin yung paghahanap ng t-value. Now, for number 1, what if n is equal to 6 and our confidence interval is 90%? So, para makuha natin yung t-value, hanapin muna natin yung n on the first column, which is 6. Ayun. Then, 90%. Ayun. So, ano yung intersection niya? Very good. That is 2.015. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, again, on your t-table, number 2, at n is equals to 17, 95% confidence. Again, first step, hanapin kay 17 on the first column. Then, 95% on the fourth column. Ayan. So, 95%. Intersection is very good. 2.120. Next, the third one. 24, nasan yung 24? Ayun. Then, 99% confidence. So, ang intersection ay 2.807. Therefore, iyan yung t-value na gagamitin ko. Nasusundan ba? Okay, good. Now, let us try to solve for the margin of error of the following. At n is equal to 6, Sample standard, standard deviation is 2, then at 90% confidence interval. So, ano ang unang step dito? Una muna, hanapin kayo corresponding t-value. Kasi kailangan natin yun sa formula. Ano, paano ba natin malalaman yung t-value? Hanapin muna natin yung n. n is equals to 6. Ayun. Then yung confidence interval, 90%. Ayun. 
intersection is 2.015. Then, sa substitute ko na lang yung uh, value ng S, which is 2. Then, yung ating number of samples, which is 6. Square root of 6. Again, t-value natin, 2.015. Pag kinumpute natin to, equal to sa? Very good. 1.645. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Next, n is equals to 9. S is equals to 4.5. Then, at 95% confidence. Again, using the formula, same formula, we will now get the value of t. So, paano natin kukunin yung value of t? Again, hanapin natin yung n is equals to 9. Ayun. Then, 95%. Nasaan? Ayun. Ano yung intersection niya? Ayun. 2.306. So, yun ang gagamitin ko para sa formula. Take note again, ang s na given natin ay 4.5. Ang n na given ay 9. So, direct substitution lang. So, anong margin of error natin dito? Very good. That is 3.459. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Next, n is equals to 16. S is equals to 3.1. 99% confidence. So, again, using the same formula, nasa ang n is equals to 16? Ayun. Nasa naman ang 99%? Ayun. Intersection, therefore, ang t-value na gagamitin ko ay 2.947 multiply by 3.1 divide by square root of 16. I will get a margin of error of very good, 2.284. Nasundan ba? Okay, good. Now, we now apply it in problem solving. An admission officer of an educational institution wants to know the mean age of all entering mathematics majors. He computed the mean age of 18 years and the standard deviation of 1.2 years on a random sample of entering of 25 entering mathematics major, assuming from a normally distributed population. With 99% confidence, find the point estimate and the interval estimate of the population mean. Now, Anong una natin kailangan i-ano rito? I-solve. Kailangan muna natin hanapin yung point estimate or yung pag uh, yung value kung saan natin i-add or i-minus ang margin of error. Very good. So paano ba tayo mahanap again ng point estimate? Sa pagkakataon ito, check muna natin yung given. Ano ano ba 'yung given? Very good. We have the what? Ayan, he computed a mean age of 18 years and a standard deviation of 1.2 years on a random sample of 25 entering mathematics major assuming from a normally distributed population. So, dyan pa lang makikita na natin kung ano-ano yung mga given. Ano-ano ba yun? We have the sample mean which is 18, then standard deviation of 1.2. Sir, paano yun nalaman na? Sample. Kasi, eto based dito sa nakasulat on a random sample. Ibig sabihin, yung sample mean nitong 25 na pumasok ng mathematics major ay 18. At ang sample standard deviation nila ay 1.2. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, let us recall. The sample mean is the best point of estimate. Meron ba tayong sample mean? Meron. Ano yung sample mean natin? 18, kaya ang point of estimate natin ay 18. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Next, let us now find the interval estimate. Ngayong meron na tayong mean, interval estimate naman. Paano ba natin hahanapin yung interval estimate? Hanapin muna natin yung margin of error. Para mahanap natin margin of error, identify muna natin yung mga given. Again, sample standard deviation, 1.2. Ang samples natin ay 25. Ano ba ba ang crucial kapag humahanap tayo ng margin of error? Yung confidence level, 99%. Kaso, since sample standard deviation ang gamit natin, 
hindi natin pwede gamitin yung critical values na pang population. Kaya ang gagamitin natin ay yung t-value na hahanapin natin sa t-table. Ayan. Missing siya. So, check natin kung ano yung t-value na kailangan natin. At n is equals to 25, confidence level is 99%. So, ayan yung 99%. N is equals to 25. Ano intersection niya? That is very good. 2.797. Ngayong may t-value na ako, pwede ko nang kompetin yung maximum error or the margin of error. Ito yung ating formula. Isa-substitute na lang natin. Ayan. So, ano, ano ang sagot dito? Very good. That is 0.67. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now that I have the margin of error, the next thing that needs to be done is to what? Very good. Isolve na natin yung interval estimate by applying the formula. Again, ang mean natin ay 18. Maximum error is 0.67. Uh, ang hanapin na lang natin ay yung upper and lower limits by using this formula. Take note, this can be rewritten as this one. We subtract the Maximum error from the mean. Then, for the right side, we add the margin of error. Since meron na, tayo, meron na tayong point estimate at error, substitute na lang natin. So, kung makukuha natin tamang sagot ay 17.33, less than the mean, less than 18.67. So, what does this imply? We can say with 99% confidence that the interval between 17.33 and 18.67 contains the true mean age of the population entering mathematics major based on the 25 samples and upon entering mathematics majors. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, nasa gitna ng 17.33 at 18.67 yung mean age na hinahanap natin. Kuha ba? Okay, very good. Now, let's have a recap of what we have just learned. Again, general expression for the confidence interval when sampling or when the population uh, standard deviation is unknown is this formula. Ito yung, yung t-value natin. Makukuha natin from the t-table. Yung S natin, sample standard deviation. Yung N natin is the total number of population. Ito yung formula natin for the confidence interval using the T distribution. Again, this is only possible when the population standard deviation is unknown. Also, this part, this is the margin of error. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, let us... Do some Get ready, Get ready, for, ready the for the next battle. Next battle. Okay, good. Now, let's try to practice. Again, for the first part, let's use the t-table to give the confidence coefficient. For the following, i-compete lang natin, hahanapin natin sa t-table. Then, for number two, assuming the samples come from a normal distribution, hahanapin naman natin yung margin of error. So, dalawa yan. Next, for the third one, this is problem solving. The mean scores of a random sample of 17 students who took the special test is 83.5. If the standard deviation of the scores is 4.1 and the sample comes from an approximately normal population, find the point of estimate and interval estimates adopting a confidence level of 95%. So, post your name video. Mag-compete tayo, solve natin. Then after that, check natin kung tama yung sagot ninyo. Okay? I trust you guys. Good luck. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so check na natin kung tama yung mga sagot natin. Again, for the first part. N is equals to 12, 95% confidence. Ano yung t-value uh, t niya? Again, 12, saka 95. 2 point. 201. How about letter B? 15 and 99. Ano yung T-value? 
2.977. Letter C, sample of 21, 90% confidence. Very good, 1.725. Nakuha ba? Okay, good. Next. Now, to compute for the margin of error, pa ano bang kailangan natin gawin dito? Kailangan, anong unang gawin? Very good. Kailangan, i-identify ko muna yung t-value. Ang n ko ay 10, 90% confidence, 1.833, yun yung aking t-value. Once na may t-value na tayo, isa substitute na lang natin yan along with the other given. Ang sample standard deviation natin ay 4, ang number of samples ay 10. So, substitute na lang siya. Therefore, ang margin of error ay very good. 2.319 Next, compute natin yung interval estimate. Ayan. So, i since may mean na tayo rito, ia ma-minus lang natin then i-add. Okay? So, anong kailangan i-minus at i-add? I-minus lang natin yung margin of error. Very good. So, ayan. Since meron na tayong margin of error, kakukumpit lang natin. At meron na tayong uh, mean. Minus plus lang yan. So, plus yun ha. So, mamuko sa dito ay 25.681 and 30.319. So, ito yung interval estimate natin. Again, plus yun ha. Hindi minus. Next. Ayan. So, yun na yung sagot. Again. N is equals to 16, sample, uh, sample mean is 50, sample standard deviation is 4.2 at 95% confidence. So, again, hanapin natin yung t-value. N is equals to 16, ayun siya, at 95% confidence. So, ang, ang t-value ay 2.131. In yung gagamitin natin pag-compute ng margin of error. Sample standard deviation, 4.2. Ang population ay 16. Therefore, ang margin of error ay 2.238. Next, once na meron na akong margin of error, plus minus na lang tayo sa sample mean. At ang sample mean natin ay 50. Ayan. So, minus plus, again, plus yun. Equal sa, very good, 47.762 at 52.238. Yan yung ating Interval estimate. Ito naman yung ating margin of error. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, let's proceed to the problem solving. Paano ba natin susolvin to? Unang-una, ano ba hinahanap? Find the point of estimate and interval estimate. So, parang yung ginawa natin ng hina. Again, check natin yung given. Mean natin ay 83.5. Ano pa given natin? Sample standard deviation, 4.1. Meron pa ba? Meron pa. N is equals to 17. Ano pa yung ibang given? Ito pa isa. 95% yung confidence level. So, para makuha yung point estimate, alam na natin yan. Bakit? Kasi given na yung sample mean. Which is 83.5. Yan yung ating point of estimate. Now, based on the t-table, ano yung ating T value na gagamitin or yung critical value. Very good. That is 2.120. At N is equal to 17, 95% confidence. Kaya natin nakuha tong 2.120. Next. Ngayon, meron na akong confidence coefficient. So, solve na natin yung margin of error. Given the formula, sa substitute, sa substitute na lang natin. Ayan. Very good. So, ang sagot dito ay margin of error. 2.108. Etong 2.108 plus minus lang tayo mula sa sample mean. Ayan. Which is what? Ayan. 83.5 minus 2.108 and then 83.5 plus 2.108. At ang tamang interval estimate ay very good. 81.392 Less than the mean, less than 85.608. So, ayan yung mga sagot natin. So, nakuha ba? Okay, very good. Thanks for watching my video lesson. Again, this is John Dennis Almario saying, remember, 
trust the process. Bye guys, see you soon.